it really is a deep, verified truth. Um, I mean, I could go on for hours as to how this has been proved, but until you yourself, um, as an individual, decide to skeptically scrutinize the you know heliocentric globe Earth model that uh, you're very comfortable with and you've been taught your whole life and understand to be true and correct, and there are lots of um, images in your mind that reinforce this, um, I'm here to tell you guys it's false. I, I know you, you think I'm crazy. I know that you're not going to believe me. I know you think that uh, when you hear Flat Earth, uh, you'll have visions of ships falling off the edge, and you'll have, uh, uh, you know, you'll have visions of people from 500 years ago who didn't know anything about science. Um, on a quick note on that topic, uh, Sir Isaac Newton, the godfather of physics and the Newtonian uh, universe that we live in, uh, prior to Einstein, of course, uh, Newton thought the, th the sun was stationary, which we would all think is laughable these days. He was also totally unaware of electromagnetism, which we would uh, think he was some kind of an idiot these days, because even a child is played with a magnet or is shocked by an electric outlet. Uh, furthermore, even Newton himself uh, professed that his theorem were hypothetical, and he also stated, essentially paraphrasing here, that the idea of gravity and a spinning globe Earth were essentially preposterous and were only one hypothesis to ex explain the observations of physicists. And uh, the whole thing's coming apart, guys. The proof is there. It's been debunked. We don't live on a globe. Um, you, know, you can do the research or not. You can dismiss me, but I'm, I'm here to tell you this is the truth. Um, it is a flat, stationary world. Um, we've all been lied to. Um, I tend to think that we live just in a small area on the infinite plane, so there's much, much more land out there. Uh, the Antarctic area, if that is what it is, but the outer barrier of our area, which is probably caused by the electromagnetic field generated at the North Pole, coming up and around in all directions, and ending at the South Pole on all edges, which would essentially cause a magnetic barrier or force field, which would be dome-like in shape. It would be necessarily that shape. And so um, it's that magnetic field that gives our every living creature, our bodies, plants, uh, probably even things like who knows inertia or friction, to occur uh, in recognizable ways. Um, I believe it's that electromagnetic field that allows light waves to do, to behave the way that they do here on Earth. Um, I believe that electromagnetic field is what compels the celestial bodies to orbit the magnetic center which is, again, fixed to the North Pole and emanating out in a dome shape to all sides. Um, I don't think there is a dome in the sky. Um, I, I think that's uh, probably more theoretical. Although, if we do have such a radioactive electromagnetic field surrounding us, which is known as the Van Allen belts, also seen as the Aurora Borealis, so there is something to that. Um, but perhaps you could have, uh, you know, it, it could contain the pressure of the world, which could also explain the decreasing barometric pressure as you get closer towards the edges, because there's less dome there, more pressure here, less pressure there. Makes a little sense, so that sort of fits. Um, but I suppose things like ice crystals, or even radiation, or dust particles, or uh, certain things could maybe stick to, or be compelled to adhere to uh, sort of around that dome structure, but I just don't believe there's a dome in the sky. Now, I'm, I'm also a Christian, not in the sense of a Catholic or uh, a religious person, but I, I'm a follower of Christ, a believer in his teachings. And um, I, I just think that uh, the infinite plane model is indeed in align with uh, Genesis. And I've made a video about it, uh, Flat Earth and the Firmament. Check it out. Uh, it's got some interesting stuff in there. It's got proof as well as theory. Um, there are some things we can prove. And there's plenty of stuff that we're just never going to prove until we get the Antarctic Treaty abolished, uh, which was signed by all world military powers in the 1950s, and is still to this day not even up for debate for another 25 years. 
So, you guys, um, this is our world. This is our generation. Uh, the government does not, no government owns anything. The people own the government. The, the government is supposed to be a service to the people, especially here in America. And everything's been turned upside down. Um, it doesn't have to be like this. Um, I'm, I'm not uh, saying people should go and riot in the streets. But what I am saying is, is if we can get this particular truth out to as many people, um, it, it really does break down the mind control programming. Now, in order to get people to uh, consider this topic, you can't just walk up to them and say, hey, it's a flat earth. You know, unless they're on crack or something, I mean, then they might talk to you about it. <laughs> um, but a normal, rational person, especially if it's some, somebody that you care about, and um, you, you know, you, you just got to you know, think of creative ways to approach them about this. Um, you know, if it's, a, for example, a religious person, um, I would tell them, hey, you know, did you know that the uh, creation account found in Genesis has been proven true? And they're going to say, what do you mean? You know, what are you talking about? It's getting a little chilly in here, sorry. Uh, so they're going to say, what do you mean? What are you talking about? And uh, you can sort of, you know, ex explain to them about the world being fixed and uh, immovable, God's footstool, or even, you know, if you subscribe to the infinite plane, or if you liked my analogy there, I'm not saying what I have is the truth, I'm saying that's one uh, possible e explanation, and it is in accordance with Genesis. Um, but you could, there's lots of different ways you could show them that the flat earth is in accordance with the Bible. Um, on the other hand, another example is if uh, there are a lot of people who are into aliens, the alien UFO phenomenon. Everybody loves a good uh, sci-fi story, right? So, uh, you know, you can tell them, well, the, the alien phenomenon is now possibly true. And again, this is all sort of hinging on the uh, infinite space model. I mean, uh, not infinite space, infinite plane. I should mention that uh, space is not a vacuum. Couldn't be. We have an atmosphere which is sort of held in place by that uh, magnetic barrier, I believe. Um, but uh, infinite space, no such thing. Infinite land, quite possible. It could end right outside the edges of our world, but I just don't see that happening. I don't see the motivation for the lie if uh, it is an enclosed system, because the entire purpose for the lie is to trick us into believing that we live on an enclosed system. So, hmm, as far as I'm concerned, it's, uh, I would bet all my money, if I had a chance to bet that it's an infinite plane. There's no question in my mind. Um, but that 1% chance of doubt, because I've just simply never been beyond that point. Um, at any rate, I hope this helps you guys sort of get to, un get to know me a little better. Maybe I'll do a couple more of these types of not-so-rigid, uh, you know, videos. But, uh, you know, I enjoy talking to you, and if you guys uh, like to uh, re reply and comment, it does take me some time. I get lots of comments, and I try to reply to everybody. But it just seems like um, for every one or two um, rational person with an honest question I get, there seems to be 10 or 20 shills who just nonstop, uh, every day, 24 hours a day, post nonsensical, semantical arguments, name calling, um, just basically rude, uh, trying to steer this discussion away uh, from the mainstream or trying to steer people away from this discussion. Um, this is the truth, guys. You know, I know you think I'm crazy at first, but if, if you can actually break the programming and um, look at the evidence, there's a ton of it. Um, I've shown a lot of it in my videos. There's a lot of other sources. You don't just have to listen to me, and you don't have to listen to anyone. Do your own research. Um, I strongly suggest you read Zetetic Astronomy. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but I've, I've recorded the whole thing in audiobook format. And so you can watch that or listen to that in its entirety on my uh, YouTube channel. I've got it as a playlist. I have to do everything in 15-minute chunks, though. So, sorry. But uh, at any rate, it's been real. It's been fun. Uh, thank you guys for checking out my channel. Uh, subscribe. Uh, support me. However you can, click on the buttons. Uh, click on the uh, ads. Um, it would help me to, uh, to monetize this and maybe be able to do more videos. I've got... Uh, you know, bills and responsibilities and a job and a family like everyone else. I love making videos. I love 
you guys in the community. Um, I, I feel like you guys have been very supportive and have been the whole reason that I've, I've continued making videos. Um, I'm not in this for the money. Um, I haven't really made any money doing this. Really nothing to speak of. I, I can tell you what I've earned on my YouTube videos since monetizing and you can laugh. Um, it's, it's next to nothing. Okay, and, and I'm not lying. Anyway, not to rant on. Love you guys. Thanks a bunch. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Tell a friend. Spread the word. Spread the world. And peace.